The Tachistoscope The Tachistoscope is a device that displays an image for a brief period of time, usually from a maximum of 2 seconds to around a minimum of 10 milliseconds. It's used in recognition speed to show something too fast to be consciously processed. In psychological research, this is used to present a visual stimuli in controlled situations to explore memory, learning, and perception. It was first created by German physiologist A.W. Volkmann in 1859 to better test vision. He designed it to prevent any distractors that may be present during the test. Earlier attempts of brief exposure in a controlled experiment were by Dove in 1841. Instead of using an image, he used an electric shock to present a visual stimuli. It was not until Cattell found this device in 1886 when it was first used in psychological experiments. He first used it to measure reaction time in psychological experiments. He used the fall tetiscope, which only presented one image at a time. The image would be placed at the top and then dropped past the slit so the viewer could only see it in that short amount of time. They would measure the time based on calculations of height and gravity. He later used it for basic human perception and memory, using it to see effects of color, shape, and exposure time on letter recognition. Other psychologists, such as Vunt and Titchener, used it in their psychological experiments of perception and reaction time. Later, in the 1930s and 40s, Gestalt psychologists used this tool to attempt to further understand more about the visual motor system, or what they called the visual motor gestalt. But once World War II began, the use of the tachistoscope shifted towards the war efforts. Soldiers were using this device to improve combat readiness. One example of this was for pilot training. They would use this device to quickly show them exposure to planes to help recognize enemy and friendly aircrafts. The tachistoscope also shows up in the 60s and 70s for memory experiments. There are three types of tetiscoscopes used in psychological experiments. The earliest kind being the drop tetiscoscope used by Volkmann and Cattell. The next was the pendulum tetiscoscope, which would swing back and forth to present the same stimuli over and over. This was used by Titchener in 1895. The last was the wheel tetiscoscope which would spin to present a variety of images for a brief period of time. Today, people run computer programs that present the images. This is an example of what it might look like. Could you remember all the numbers? The tetiscoscope is using cognitive and neuropsychological experiments. It's used to help understand perception and help determine the brain areas involved in visual perception, memory, and learning. The tetiscoscope is an important device used throughout the years of psychology and continued to be an important device today.